This is an area off of the Foothills Parkway, uh, just north of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park on the Tennessee side. I'm standing on a ridge top here not far from Lookout Tower. And what we see in this area is a great example of what happens with prolonged fire suppression in these pine, oak, heath cover types. And really what we're looking at here is the impact on composition. The soil probably hasn't changed a lot other than the accumulation of that litter layer that more frequent fires would have uh, dealt with. Um, the top topography has not changed at all. Aspect hasn't changed. So really what we're seeing is the vegetative community changing. And so as we look here, we still have this heath component. Um, we've got a lot of different species of blueberries, some huckleberries at the ground layer. You see behind me over here some mountain laurel. So we still have that heath component. We certainly still have the pine component around as well. Um, I can see a Virginia pine over here. There's also been some table mountain pine out in this area. So we still have some of that, but not as much. As you look around, pan up, look around, what you really start noticing is this is really now a more oak dominated system uh, where we see the chestnut oaks like this one here. Uh, they've grown larger. Some of them here are two feet in diameter. So they've really become dominant. The scarlet oak has really started taking over. And then we've even seen some small white oaks in this area, post oaks, and other species of oaks. Um, beyond the oaks, there's also the, that sourwood component that probably would have been here before. It's become even more significant. It's expanding further. Um, and so then you start looking in the understory. Um, we start finding oak seedlings, but we're starting to see some northern red oak in here, red maples, um, and other species that may be less prevalent if there had been fire in this ecosystem. So without fire, you see that shift in community composition.